I'm here at Taiwan Tech Arena getting the hang of being invited at events, this time as judge for a pitch competition. And if you know me, I know a lot about losing at pitch competitions. Anyway, our topic for today is about the challenges of banking in Taiwan. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. We have a new segment today, and by we, I mean just me and my Filipino buddy giving you the latest insights about what's going on here in Taiwan. Oh, this is good. I'm here at Taiwan Tech Arena getting the hang of being invited at events, this time as judge for a pitch competition. And if you know me, I know a lot about losing at pitch competitions. Anyway, our topic for today is about the challenges of banking in Taiwan. Number one, Citibank, one of the largest U.S. banks, is no longer operating in Taiwan. They left not just Taiwan, but also other countries such as Thailand, Russia, and the Philippines. So for all of you Americans, maybe try to consider opening a Bank of America account first before coming here. You're wondering, why can't I just keep my Citibank account and do an online transaction when I am already in Taiwan? Good luck with that. That leads me to challenge number two. Wiring money from your account abroad to your bank in Taiwan has to be done physically, not online. And if you want to do it smoothly, do it at the branch of your bank back home. For example, Bank of America in America to Bank of America here in Taiwan. This is because banks in Taiwan are not well integrated in the international banking system which mostly stems from Taiwan preventing the flow of capital from China thus affecting even the flow of capital from other countries. Challenge number three, when you open a bank account here, you can be denied even when you have the papers to prove that all you got is legitimate money. I'll give you two seconds to think about it. Right? Challenge number four, there are too many banks in Taiwan. To be exact, 18 bank branches and 161 ATMs per 100,000 adults. Too many banks lead to excessive competition and low profit of banks. This could be the reason why many banks do not want to lend money to foreigners. Which leads me to challenge number five. Foreigners who wish to borrow money from banks must have a Taiwanese guarantor and this Taiwanese guarantor will be the one to pay for the debt in case of a default. This is actually causing rage for many ARC and APRC holders who have been in Taiwan for long years paying taxes, calling the rule a little bit unfair, especially because they have been in Taiwan for quite a long time paying their taxes as proof of stable income and intent to stay here in Taiwan. On a related note, I've heard from the grapevine that foreign startup founders could be exempt from having a guarantor for borrowing money for the purpose of their business, of running their business. I don't know the exact detail, but the source is pretty high up there. If you know what I mean. One more note, of all the banks here in Taiwan, only Eason Bank is able to connect to PayPal. So if you're receiving money from PayPal, make sure that you have your Eason Bank account so that you can encash them. Make sure that the name that appears on your Eason Bank account exactly matches the name that you have on your PayPal account. That's it for today. Please like and subscribe if, and if you have any questions or any topic that you want me to break down, just leave it in the comments section below. Until next time. Wow. Cerveza Blanca. Wheat beer. Thank you very much. <laughs> Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.